external environment. How do companies respond to the environment? How do they organize themselves? What kind of strategies they develop? And in particular, what is the connection then with human resource management? So that's the today's uh, lecture. So the overall overarching learning objectives are as follows. I think the lecture today is about what is the role of international human resource management in general. And to break it down a little more, I think it can be into two aspects. Uh, the first one would be here to understand the mechanisms through which international human resource management help in the successful implementation um, of uh, multinational corporations business strategy. And the second part is then the link or the alignment between the different areas of strategy, structure, organization, and human resource management or human resource management strategy. And today I've uh, broken uh, today's lecture into five uh, or six, uh, five sections and then the conclusion. First, uh, some kind of introduction, I would say, it's the contribution of human resource management uh, to multinational corporation strategy. And then we look into the, each specific aspects in more detail. So one would be global strategy. So some of you already are very well aware of them. Some of you have taken international business courses or similar ones. Uh, so that might be just a repetition uh, for you. Nevertheless, we also make some kind of indication how that, that is related to human resource management, what are its implications. Then we look into organizational structure. Yeah, that would be also related to strategy. Some of you have taken uh, I think we have courses, what is it called, corporate development strategy and so forth, and you may have dealt with those uh, in, in, or organization theory and those kind of courses. And then uh, fourth, we will look then into the fit between strategy, structure, and human resource management. For some of you, yeah, this is then how you know uh, your prior knowledge, how to combine it, or for some of you uh, at least uh, so that we are all at a certain level so that we understand what we're talking about. And then, then fifth, we will talk not just how then HR departments respond to it, yeah, how they react, but how they can actively manage that process. And that's also nowadays very often the trend yeah, that HR departments uh, or personnel are not just administrators, they're actively enrolled, uh, involved. So very often we talk about business partners, HR business partners, because that's the idea yeah, that they are being uh, meeting also the top management or strategic uh, decision makers uh, on the same level and then also help in designing strategy because that's also very important. Then we come to an end to today's uh, session. Yeah, I think it's a very important session. It lays the, the basics uh, for our next uh, uh, sessions. In the next sessions, we'll talk then about the different functions of HR. So to conclude uh, today, global strategy, structure, and HRM should be aligned. Uh, they should be coordinated. Yeah? And also, HR should play an active role, not just following. And uh, other than that, yeah, thank you for today. Mm -hmm.